perusahaan.
the little terrain forest. And the animals here are very shy and good at camouflaging, so we want to stay quiet and not call out to any of these animals. Right on the left hand side of the vehicle is going to be a bongo. The bongo are known as the ghosts of the forest. They are very good at camouflaging. Those white stripes help them blend in in the sunlight. On the right hand side of the vehicle is an okabi. Now the okabi's got his party pants on today. And a lot of people believe that it's related to the zebra based on those black and white stripes. But it's actually a closely known relative of the giraffe. Based on the head shape and the tongue, we can identify this. They were once thought to be a myth because no one could ever find them. When an okapi is born, it does not go to the bathroom for three months so as to not give away its scent. Eventually, Western civilization eventually found them and named them the okapi. Right over there on the left hand side of the vehicle is a black rhino. Now the black rhino are the smallest of the rhinoceros, weighing at only 3,000 pounds. Only. Unfortunately, rhinoceros are poached for their horns. Inside their horns is just keratin, which is in human fingernails and hair. On the left hand side of the vehicle, as we approach them, are two saddle built stork. We know that they are saddle built stork based on that yellow saddle shape on their beaks. Now they don't chirp, but they do rattle those beaks to communicate with each other. Saddle built storks make for life, and they have a nine foot wingspan. Now, a nine foot wingspan is pretty important to be above your heads. Now my friends, we are headed into the Safi River. Now the Safi River is a great place around this time of day to see a Nile hippopotamus. Anybody back there want to see a hippopotamus? Alright. Right over there on the right hand side are two Nile hippopotamus. Now, unfortunately, this road is muddy and slippery, so we're going to continue on to a wind day. Right over here on the left-hand side of the vehicle is going to be a bloat of hippopotamus. The bloat is the name of a group of hippopotamus. Hippos can stay underwater for eight whole minutes without coming up for air. There is a baby hippo in there. Now hippopotamus are herbivores, that means that they eat plants. They are even known to eat so many plants that it weighs about the same as that young hippo. That is a lot of food. Fully grown hippopotamus can weigh 5,500 pounds. Now my friends, we are headed to Croc Bridge. Now Croc Bridge is kind of dangerous, so we want to keep our hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle as we cross. Right over there on the left hand side of the vehicle are some Nile Crocodile. Nile Crocodile can grow up to 20 feet long, which is about as long as a giraffe is tall. They like to open their mouths and bare their teeth. Right here on the right hand side of the vehicle is going to be a baobab tree. 
No, another fun name for the Baobab tree is the Tree of Life. It's nicknamed the Tree of Life because it can hold 30,000 gallons of water. That pro pro provides lots of water for the animals here on the reserve. Now, unfortunately, my friends, those baobab trees have not been living as long as they used to. They used to live about 3,500 years, and they are currently not living that long. The Disney Conservation Fund is looking into why this is happening. If you'd like to do donate to the Disney Conservation Fund, you can do so at any of the merchandise locations here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Any donation that you do make will be matched in full by Disney. So if you donate $10, they'll donate $10 and it'll be like you donated to money. As we enter the Savannah, I see some Park Bay's Mountain Zebra. Now we know that these are Park Bay's Mountain Zebra based on the two lap underneath their necks. We also can tell, based on their nose coloration, that these are black zebras with white stripes. And yes, there are white nose zebras that have white bodies with black stripes. There's also on the side giraffe right there. On the left hand side of the vehicle are the African wild dogs, other known as the painted dogs. Now the painted dogs are incredible hunters. They have a 90% success rate when hunting. They use teamwork to wear down their prey. They also have a slightly venomous bite that ends up slowing their enemies down. On the left hand side of the vehicle, hiding in the shape, are the sable antelope. Now the sable antelope are the emblem of the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. They are a symbol of strength and power. If you've ever heard of the fight or flight response, they are big advocates of that fight response. They're even known to fight off lions and win. I don't know about you, but if I'm gonna fight a lion, I ain't gonna be winning. On the left and right hand side of the vehicle are some turbine mounds. Turbine mounds are made of insect dung and give those giraffes about 30 feet because their necks are so long they can grow up to 20 feet tall you know a fun fact about the giraffes they actually have the same invertebrate as humans in their necks but their invertebrate are about the same size as our heads a little bit bigger
on the left hand side of the vehicle, hiding in the trees, are some wildebeests, well they're known as the new, they're also known as the new based on that sound that they like to make. <laughs> back there? Yeah. Oh, me neither. <laughs> Alright, my friends, we're going to continue on into the clay pits. Be on the lookout for elephant tracks as well as bus marks in the clay. It looks like an elephant's been here. They like to eat the clay. It gives them the vitamins and minerals that they need, just like we need vitamins and minerals in our daily lives. Right over there on the left hand side is one of our youngest female elephants here on the reserve. Yeah. She's quite a bit smaller. Now elephants have amazing memories. They have even been known to remember things 12 years later. The Disney Conservation Club has been doing some pretty cool research on bone trees. They found out that elephants are extremely afraid of bumblebees because they have sensitive skin just like humans do. And when they get stung by a bumblebee, it really hurts. We've used this knowledge to put up bumblebee uh, fences around farms to protect the elephants from the farmers as well as protect the farmers' crops from the elephants. Over there on the left-hand side of the vehicle is another baobab tree. Anybody remember what another name for the baobab tree? Tree of life. Very good, very good. The tree of life. Looks like they're hiding behind a rock of some sort. On the left hand side of the vehicle are the greater flamingo. The greater flamingo are the tallest of the flamingo. They get that pinkish coat from the brine shrimp that they eat. It contains a chemical called beta carotene, which turns everything pink. Now a group of flamingo is called a flamboyance. Those little gray fluff balls are actually baby flamingos that have recently been hatched. They are so cute. Now my friends, we are going to be entering the East Savannah now. Well, I see some white rhinoceros footprints in the mud. Looks like they've been here recently. <laughs> We're gonna continue on and hope to see some. Now, my friends, the train is getting a little rough up here. So I'm going to focus on the road. If you see anything on the banks up to the left, just say, hey, Dylan. Right over 
over there on the left hand side hiding behind a tree is a cheetah. Cheetah can run up to 60 miles an hour in 3.2 seconds, which is about the same acceleration as the rock and roller coaster. So the next time you're riding the rock and roller coaster, you can say, I'm going cheetah fast. There are two more up on the fence line right up here on the left hand side. Now cheetahs are daytime hunters, so I'm going to get on out of here. <laughs> formations are typically home to lions, just like in the Lion King with Pride Rock. In Swahili, the word for lion is Simba. For any wilderness explorers on my truck, my truck's number is Simba 1. white rhinoceros his name is milo he's my personal favorite on the so reserve that is his mama they always stay very close together the white rhinoceros can grow up to five thousand pounds run up to 35 miles an hour. A group of white rhinoceros is known as a crash because they don't have the best eyesight in the whole entire world, but they have amazing hearing. So when you do say, hey Milo, you're super cute, it can hear you. On the left hand side are some burrows from a warthog. I see some red up there. They look like rocks with hair on them. Oh, I see it. They are very good at camouflaging. They're probably the hardest to find on the reserve. Now we don't want to call them Puma because Puma in Swahili is foolish. And they're actually really smart creatures. Right over here on the right hand side of the vehicle are some more white rhinoceros. It looks like it's the other mother and the other baby. A little bit further back is a Bonta Bok. At one point in time, there were only 17 Bonta Bok left in the world. But luckily a farmer accidentally found them and started putting fences around them. as I do, you can head on over to Rafiki's Planet Watch, which is right next door to the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, where you can board a train. That'll take you over to a petting zoo, where you can actually pet live goats. Now, unfortunately, my friends, that draws our two week safari to a close. Here at the Harambe Wildlife Reserve, we don't like to say goodbye, 
So I'll leave you with another word called for her reading. For her reading means go well. But before we go well, hopefully I've instilled with you a deeper appreciation for some of these amazing creatures. Now, if you want to go make a difference in the world, one way you can do that is by recycling those phones when you're done with them. Inside phone batteries is a mineral that is currently being mined in Africa and it's leading to the destruction of a lot of these animals' habitats. So if we recycle this, these products, we can help save their habitats for the years to come. Another great way is we can donate to that Disney Conservation Fund. The Disney Conservation Fund is making an active change in the world. It's protecting lots of 